All right, there we go. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Don here, and you're watching VR Gamer Dude. And well, today, you know, I, I thought it would be appropriate to finally start giving my first impressions of the Pimax Crystal. Now that I've had it up and running on my new system for a couple of days, uh, you know, I gotta say, I'm not hating on this headset, but not digging on it either. So uh, we're, we're going to kind of just take a flight tonight and I'm just going to kind of babble my thoughts of the last couple of days uh, setting up and testing the crystal here. So, all right, um, from time to time I might check chat. So if you guys have questions, just uh, throw it in there. But uh, if not, I'll see you in the air. All right. started here I think we'll just go ahead and take a little flight around my hometown here since I'm familiar with it and we'll change it back to daylight though a little easier to see stuff there so all right and hopefully all the tech is working together here um, you know I am trying to do this in my y'all VR haven't done that in a while so um, oh, and I did want to change my plane real quick sorry want something a little slower. I've really kind of been digging this quadcopter thing. So, not hating on these, I'll, I'll talk about that real quick. Uh, you know, I'm loving the fact that we've got controller parity now uh, with uh, Meta. Uh, whoa, whoa, there we go. Okay, wait, hold on. Sorry, guys. See, like I said, might have some tech difficulties here. Icon Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf Sierra, Altimeter, 2 Niner, Decimal Niner, 2 Wind, Calm, Street Out, Departure approved. There we go. Cleared for takeoff okay. runway tree two. Just got to do a little quick thing with the simulator here. Cleared for takeoff runway tree two. Icon X-ray Golf Sierra. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Sorry. I forgot. I cannot do motion compensation with the 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 yaw here. <laughs> and I'm moving on the runway. You guys are seeing this live. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm totally going to crash. But So, as it said in the description, there there will be uh, technical difficulties as always. Ah, come on. And like I said, what what's going on here is is that I don't have the ability to do any motion compensation. There we go. And now that should not be flipping me around. So, all right, sorry about that. Um, like I said, I, I don't know if you guys get to see this on the screen. I think you do because of the way I'm capturing it. So this is the uh, Sim Racing Studio software here. And, and basically what I had to do until I can work out the motion compensation is I had to uh, limit the yaw. So uh, by limiting the yaw, uh, it won't spin me around. It'll just move me in, in, in a, you know, up, down, left, right fashion here. Right, there we go. Release the parking brake. All right. Springfield Tower Envoy 3822. At Man, I gotta tell you, this is a different experience on a 4090. Envoy 3822, line up and wait. I have never been able to jack the graphics up. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, the y'all's working. Excellent. Felt a little lift there. Line up and wait on boy 3822. There we go. Get some flaps going. Get my gear up. 
So, all right, and now I can just kind of cruise and talk, which was what I wanted to do. So, sorry for all the technical difficulties for anybody who is just joining the stream. Um, I am just going to kind of fly around tonight uh, a little bit in Flight Simulator 2020 in my new Pimax Crystal here and just kind of give you guys some of my thoughts. So, uh, I've had the headset now for about three days running. I've had it for about five days in the studio. And, yeah, setup was not the easiest thing, I'm not going to lie. Um, the setup was a little bit of a pain. I, I did literally have a computer completely blow up on me the very first night, not due to the crystal. It had nothing to do with the crystal, uh, but completely lost my rig and uh, had to uh, wait a couple of days to buy a new one. And uh, now I am running this on a 13900K, uh, 64 gigs of uh, G-Skill uh, DDR5 RAM at 6400 megahertz, um, a Zotac uh, 4090 amp extreme aero, um, and I'm um, doing it all on a super high-end motherboard, Asus ROG Hero Maximus. So, uh, I've never actually been able to play Flight Simulator smoothly like this, and this is blowing my mind. I mean, I've never had the ability to turn on all the foliage. Uh, I, I mean, wow. Just absolutely wow. But we're not here to talk about my new rig. We, we are to, we are here to talk about the Pimax Crystal. And, you know, I gotta say, you guys who have been watching my channel for a long time, you know... I have been using Pimax for a long time, and, uh, hold on. <coughs> right. Sorry, I didn't want to cough into the mic there. Um, I, you know, I, I have been using Pimax headsets since the 5K, I mean, since right after their Kickstarter, and, you know, my 8KX is, is has been my favorite headset pretty much of all time because of the wide field of view and the high resolution and it, but this this is on another level I, I mean this is like I have never seen anything so not to coin a phrase crystal clear I, I, I mean this is nuts oh that feels so good to me back in the bus Springfield Tower So, I just, I don't know. Um, back to the setup. Okay, so setup was a pain just in the fact that, like I said, I just built a new computer. Uh, I, I had some driver issues. Um, that was all on me, uh, you know, trying to think that I can just slap my old hard drive into a whole new system and uh, have everything be compatible with different, you know, manufacturers and motherboards. So neither here nor there, wiped everything, got everything back in, and after that, setup went pretty damn smooth. Um, so uh, I, I would say that a lot of the setup was on me, but there was one nagging thing that literally it took me days to figure out. And I could not get the headset to connect to my computer to save my life. It would just literally say that there was no headset connected, um, even though I would do the troubleshooting and it would come up with was wrong. So after scouring forums and, and after looking just all over the place, I finally found that even on my 49 powerhouse of a card, I cannot have more than two monitors plugged in and have the Pimax Crystal plugged in at the same time. So, I'm not going to lie, that, that kind of annoyed me. I bought a, a, a special computer case just because it literally has a monitor built into the computer case. And now, every time I use this headset, I have to reach behind my PC, which is kind of a pain in the ass, and disconnect that monitor. So, Pimax, if there's a way to fix that, come on, man. It, it, here, in this day and age, we should not be having to unplug monitors just to plug our headsets in. You know, there, there's got to be some other way. Um, so that's that's that. Rant, 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 rant. I know. But 
other than that, it, it is your typical Pimax experience. Uh, the, the Pi tool, nothing different there. Except for the fact that I lost motion compensation for my motion simulator here, which I understand it's a different set of tracking. Even though the motion compensation should mix with just the Vive tracker on the back here. Um, and this is nuts. Um, so, let's see here. Other things that maybe I can think off the top of my head that people might be interested in. Comfort uh, feels just as good as any I other Pimax headset I have. Um, you would think that it'd be heavy as hell, and it really isn't. Um, it, it's very nicely balanced. I like this thick rubber strap that they have put on the top. Springfield Approach Icon Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is type icon three miles west of Tree Delta Whiskey 1,000. <laughs> this is so cool. Request okay, I've following. done this like a hundred times, but I've never had the detail level set this high. This is nuts. Oh my, okay, sorry, I'm like geeking out on my own town here. So, <laughs> John Q. Holmes Tower. Roger, Icon, X-Ray, Golf, Sierra. Oh, 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 Springfield did I? Oh, I think Alpha, I hit my tail Sierra, on the back X-Ray, Golf, Sierra. <laughs> okay. Request clearance to transition Charlie Airspace. Yeah, you guys can transition all you want. Okay, so, um, real quick, just gonna check chat, see if anybody's even watching. Um, probably not. Nobody ever watches my streams. Clear to so. Charlie Airspace, Icon, X-Ray, Golf, Sierra. Icon X-Ray Golf Sierra traffic is 11 o'clock, 4 miles, at 3,400 feet generic. Report them in sight. There we go. Okay, yeah, we got a couple of people Icon here. Icon X-Ray um, so Golf Sierra GTGT, got, the traffic. got my tracking number on Saturday, but haven't shipped yet. Yeah, man, I'm sorry, dude. They're they're trying to ship them, I know. Um, why not just use the mic on the crystal? It's amazing, mic. You know, that that's true. I, I did record with it. I just, I, I, everything I've ever done is with my mod mic. I love my mod mic wireless. Uh, so, but you are correct. I, I could probably do that. The other reason is, is I, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to pick up the sound too bad from the uh, speakers, which are fantastic, by the way. So, okay. Anyway, back to flying here. Oops. Got to get focus back to the game. There we go. And yes, recenter and perfect. Okay, and yes, y'all are still working. Okay, so um, let's see here. So we talked a little bit about the comfort. We talked a little bit about the setup and the having to uh, disconnect a monitor. Um, but other than that, um, you know, visuals, obviously crystal is what it's called for a reason. This, this is literally the clearest VR headset I have personally ever seen. Now, I've never seen any of the Barjo or, you know, uh, a couple of the other crazy ones out there like that. But, uh, man, let me tell you, this is just cream of the crop if you are looking for pure visual clarity and the ability to read every little thing on every little dial. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than this at this point telling you. Um, field of view, a little disappointing for a uh, Pimax headset, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I knew it was going to be a reduction in the field of view, but this is like Quest 2 level, uh, in my opinion, um, so it's, it's pretty damn narrow. Um, it's also in certain, I don't know, aspects, it's, it's kind of squarish at the sides. Uh, depending on how far, I don't know, like I've, like back, I've actually put extra cushioning on the pad here uh, to, to kind of get it a little farther away from my face. But, uh, but yeah, even if I took that cushioning off and pushed it in, field of view is still nowhere near like my Quest Pro or, or anything like that. Because um, I know people were asking about that, uh, field of view. Audio is freaking phenomenal. Um, loving the audio. Air Shuttle 6163, you are 
Oh, man, I'm right, right over Springfield. simulator flying over the town that I live in and it's actually the freaking town that I live in. I mean, this is absolutely nuts. I like, drove past half of these places today. even read the signs now again for anybody who's just picking up here in the middle of the stream not only am I testing the Pimax crystal here I'm also on a brand new system and, and I've never played flight simulator at this detail level um, I, I could never get it to run I mean but this this is next level this is like in this headset set to like really really high detail levels Wow. Get a little motion underneath you. And I mean, it's living a freaking dream. I tell you. too good at landing the plane. There we go. The landing gear down. So this is a little downtown airstrip uh, that we have here in Springfield. I'm actually seeing these little small planes fly in and out of it all the time. did it. All right. Break. Break. All right. Wow. Okay, cool. And I actually landed. <laughs> nice. Let's just take her in. 
we'll go back here behind the TV station. down so all right first flight in the Pimax crystal has been successful so just gonna jump over and uh, check on the uh, chat see if anybody's actually watching there we go so all right yeah no I did forget the flaps and uh, yeah I, I am not a pilot in any way shape or form I literally jump in this thing I go up there I fly around I go ooh and ah and then I come back down so I'm not trying to like <laughs> like learn how to fly a plane but uh, yes I definitely forgot the flaps uh, so all right um, and let's see thank you for everybody who is watching do have a couple people watching right now so um, yeah got a question what up, what up GT I don't know how much of a delay we've got here, but I'll hang for you. Okay, said he might have a question here. Hey, Zim, what's going on, man? Hey, it's nice to see you, brother. Yeah, th this is this is definitely a nice one. Is it worth the price tag of two thousand one hundred and forty-seven dollars? That that is definitely the question. Okay, and you know, here's the thing: if you are looking for high-end PC VR, okay, like like high-end PC VR, and and you're not worried about sticking to that that kind of lower FOV, like you're not looking for that super wide FOV that the, that like let's say the Pimax AKX gives, then absolutely freaking lootly. I, I mean, this, the, the, the it, it's premium, man. It, everything about this seems premium to me at this point. Uh, the, the audio is really good. The, the visuals are super crystal clear. Uh, like I said, a little bummed that the FOV just seems a little tight, but once again, I think that could be my brain going, hey, you're wearing a Pimax headset. It's supposed to be big, uh, but it's it's no different than, say, you know, putting on my Quest 2 or my Reverb G2 or anything like that. Um, so, you know, yeah, 2000 bucks. I mean, is it worth that? If you're, if you're going to do, like, simulator games and things like that, then, you know, I would say yes. Uh, so, um, I really want to see the standalone mode uh, working. I, I definitely want to see that. Uh, I mean, obviously, you can see the home. I, I don't know if you guys knew that. I don't know if that's a big secret or not. Ooh, I hope I'm not spilling the beans. But, you know, if you just, if you literally boot your headset with it in the, the standalone mode with the Switch, you can go into the little home and see, like, the starship out the window and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, that, that definitely gives it some more value, in my opinion, over AKX, is the fact that we are going to have standalone experiences on this as well. Um, but uh, 2147, that is definitely a, a steep price tag. Okay, so right there, GT, I just got your message. Yes, so AKX is your daily driver, but visuals are your number one. If you can sacrifice, if you love your AKX and you can sacrifice the field of view, you're going to freaking love this headset. Uh, I mean, it, even compared to the AKX, the visuals are blowing my freaking mind. Uh, it is that crystal clear. It is super crystal clear. Uh, that's, that's definitely definitely so so if visuals are your number one driver in a headset this is your headset I, I will definitely say that so anyway I know this is boring just watching me like sit here and yap while my my head flops around and you guys watch my screen flop around because I'm actually seeing it <laughs> it's like an infinity effect here on screen which is kind of cool so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it go ahead and end this flight Maybe we'll fly over something a little more interesting. Oh, I need to give focus back to the game. I'll move you guys over here to monitor too. I can just jump back and forth. There we go.
All right. Let's see. Recommended spots. Let's go to one of their recommended spots here. Yeah, oh, haven't been to LA in a while. Telluride. Toronto. Never been to Toronto. Kennedy. Yeah, we'll take a flight around Toronto here. That'll be interesting. Alright. Sierra oh, X-ray oops. Golf Sierra <laughs> and runway two six ready for departure like straight out super departure. Dark. Okay, well that'll be cool though. We haven't done a night flight yet, so so situated a little bit here. All right. see if I'm on the runway. Okay, so that right there, that's telling me one thing. Okay. Look, I'll just take off a little bit here. Get in the air. Okay, so that is something I definitely wanted to see, and I am seeing it now, and this is blowing my mind. And I'm going to say it. Blacks are black. Oh my god. This is like, I can't wait to play Elite Dangerous or one of my space sims in this. This is nuts. Oh, this looks so good. The contrast of light and dark. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, glad I took a night flight here because I had not experienced anything like this in the crystal yet. So, wow. My favorite flight, now what I am really good at, you know, I was making jokes with the guy earlier about the flaps not being down and stuff. Yeah, I just poke around in these types of flight simulators, but get, get my butt in a Starfighter and you're toast. Uh, I'm just saying it right now. Uh, like 30 years of flying VR Starfighters here. <laughs> so. And this looks good. Now again, I I've never seen flight simulator at these detail levels, so, um, I mean, there, that could be part of it, I'm not going to rule that out in any way, but I can really turn that off, I don't want to resize it, So back to my observations of, of the screen here. So yeah, it definitely does not have that gray washed out look that the AKX had for sure. Um, it looks really good. I mean, that is so dark that I can't see. But yet the little flashes of light, I'm, I'm open, it's just popping against that darkness. Oh man, that is so good. Oh, I know you guys are watching me geek out, but I'm sorry. These are like, these are my raw first impressions uh, of the crystal. <coughs> Tower JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Frequency Change. 
So anyway, yeah, these are my Alert raw first JMB impressions aviation, of the Bristol Alpha guys. Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra is, is type JMB Aviation, VL-35 miles west of Toronto Island. So if you're just joining the stream, that's pretty much what you're going to keep here. Request clearance to transition, wow, Charlie wow, Airspace. Wow. Because damn. Aviation, Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra approach. Nice. Squawk 0164. Squawk 0164 JMB I, Aviation I, I X-ray Golf them, Sierra. But I couldn't see them. And I know there's lights in here. JMB so Aviation X-ray Golf Sierra radar contact six miles west of Toronto Island, 1,700 okay. feet. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Maintain all navigation. Oh no, Charlie's coming. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. JMB Aviation X-ray Golf Sierra. JMB Aviation X-ray Golf Sierra contact approach on one tree tree decimal four. Good day. One tree tree decimal for JMB Aviation X-ray Golf Sierra. The, the, approach uh, JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra okay. X-ray Golf Sierra. I know 1, the visuals, the visuals, feet. the visuals, but JMB Aviation I've never Alpha seen Sierra that far Golf in the distance either. This is nuts. Those lights look like they go on forever. If I wasn't streaming this and talking to you guys and I was in the right frame of mind, this could break me. I, I mean, the realism here is just off the freaking chart. One, two, four, decimal, four, seven, for JMB Aviation, X-Ray Golf Sierra. Approach JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 2,000 feet. You know, I, I, I gotta Alpha say, Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra approach altimeter two niner decimal niner two continue as planned. Man, when they get the wireless and they get the 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 standalone mode working, this I would put my Quest Pro down. JMB Aviation X-Ray Golf Sierra. Approach, but I love my Quest Pro. Four. Don't get me wrong. I love Good my day. Quest Pro. It is my daily driver. One tree, tree decimal for JMB Aviation X-ray Golf Sierra. But we got to get rid of JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra. One thousand eight hundred feet. Uh, I am sold now on completely wireless headsets. After using Quest Pro for a while, it, it is just. Spoiled me to having to be on the wire for the internet. So, cannot wait until the, the going to one two four decimal four seven JMB Aviation X-ray Golf Sierra module is finally approach JMB Aviation Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra one thousand six hundred feet. Air Canada seven one seven climb and maintain eleven thousand feet. Keep speed not above two five zero knots. I think we might just go into extreme denial. We'll probably be going for uh, a little under an hour. Air Canada 717 climb and maintain 11,000 feet. Who knows? I might even pop back on another stream later. Because right next, I want to start testing things Report like uh, Vertigo 2 and Half-Life Alex. United 109 or 4 descent and maintain 7,500 feet. So anybody would be interested JMB in watching Aviation, me do that, Golf Sierra, have the generic in the chat. I would appreciate it. Descend and maintain 7,500 feet, United 1094. Okay. Air Canada 717 climb and maintain 11,000 feet. United 1094 climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Well, that's helpful. Nine or six eight traffic alert. Nine o'clock less than one mile. 
You can do it on the screen. Nice. Okay, got my brake on. And we are down. Air Two Canada successful landings in one night. And one at night. That's cool. I've never landed a plane at night. So I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and jump back over, check chat one more time. But then I think we are going to go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, it is still a work night for me. But, you know, I think I might be doing this more often. So let's see what you guys have to say about all that. Zim, uh, let's see here. Uh, the heat output. Okay, well, um, Zim absolutely none um i mean okay like right here i got a little heat like right here uh it's a little warm just right here on the left temple um side but uh other than that no man it's it's actually not bad at all uh the fabric's pretty breathable it's got that inner fabric kind of like the original cd1 miles northeast of toronto um, let's see here Contact tower on one one eight decimal three five one inbound yeah, I've not I've not really seen the PSVR two man, so I can't comment on that. But uh, <laughs> right, that's why I chose Toronto Zim because you were watching. So uh, let's see here. Yep, you better you better. I'll bring some barbecue, so it'll be good. Uh, so uh, the breakout box uh, sort of loose. Okay, so no, let me comment on that GT. Actually, I found the breakout box to be kind of one of the things that I will be commenting a little bit negatively on in my full review. Um, it, it trying to put the cable in the breakout box makes me feel like I'm going to break the freaking cable every time I do it. Um, so it, it, it's, I don't know. I personally, I'm thinking about just taking the breakout box out and just plugging the cable directly into the headset exactly the way I used to with my AKX. Um, uh, cause I, I tend to like, I get it in there and, and it's like, it's almost like a bad USB, you know, where you can't like, it, you know, it's right, but it just won't go in there and you got to kind of wiggle it a little bit and then you kind of feel it scraping a little bit. And I don't know, it just freaks me out. So, I don't know, the, the breakout box, not my favorite thing about this headset at all. Um, so, let's see here, uh, what do you think about the build quality of the 8? Um, don't know what you mean about the 8. Um, let's see here, um, haha, <laughs> yes, live long and prosper to you too, my friend. And you mentioned Brid Crew on Twitter, I'm going to hold you to that. We've actually been playing a little bit of that from time to time. Um, uh, no, the, the speakers aren't loose at all, man. They're they're like really tight, actually. They, they've got a, a really nice feel. Yeah, like when I move them, they, they don't feel like they're loosey goosey or all. Oh, build quality of the AKX. Uh, actually, it feels pretty much identical to my AKX, just a tiny bit smaller. Uh, it's it's not as wide on the hammerhead, so to speak. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, no, the build quality to me is fantastic. I mean, everything feels good. The only things I don't like, the only things I don't like about the build quality on this headset, I do not like the breakout connection like I was just ranting about. I don't like the way that I have to like push it, push it in there and you really have to push it hard until it goes pop. Uh, otherwise it's not connected. Um, I also, I, I really, I just lost my train of thought. Um, I don't like the breakout connection. Oh, the, the battery connection. Um, oh my god. 
trying to pull pull the battery out after it's been inserted is like a, a lesson in torture. Uh, you, you you absolutely have to push the clips as hard as you can and just like yank the damn thing out. And the little plastic thing on the back of the headset is kind of one of the only flimsy feeling parts. So every time I put it in there, I'm like, oh, am I going to break this damn thing? So you just really want to be careful to really push those clips in on the battery really, really tight. And same thing for the little battery breakout charger box thing that they give you. Um, it's definitely, you know, the, one of the, the downsides. I also did have a battery drain on me the other day, even during play, and I've got it connected to the new uh, USB hub. So you're definitely going to want to have that battery at the ready. So um, just, just, you know, be aware of that. <laughs> so, uh, all right, you know, any any other last minute questions, comments, concerns before I, uh, you know, let you guys go tonight? Um, so going once. Tower on one one eight decimal three five. United one zero nine or four. All right. Well, uh, you know. I want to thank everybody who came out to watch tonight. Uh, I know this was completely unplanned. Uh, I will I will try to um, give a little more uh, a little more uh, you know a little more forewarning before I do this next time. Um, so uh, you know, if you guys want to see any more streams like this, please let me know. Um, I will be reposting this back as a video for anybody who might be interested. Uh, yeah, see you, see you, Zim Talk man. I'll talk to you later. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to start doing a lot more streaming, guys. I have decided that, that my life is just so freaking hectic right now. It is so hard for me to edit video all the damn time. So really going to start trying to focus more on streaming. Um, and uh, so you guys are probably going to see me in this chair again, just like I used to be uh, flying here with my Pimax Crystal. Uh, because, you know, uh, just summing up the, the, the first uh, test stream here, I love this headset. It, it ain't perfect. It, it's got its flaws, and you guys have heard me rant about a couple of them on this stream. But all of the flaws that I'm finding with this can easily be fixed. And uh, it, it's definitely something that Pimax has always had a history of. I mean, you know, they, they put the headsets out and then as, as time goes on, they refine them, they fix them, they, the software gets better. So, you know, I have no doubt that, that with a little time and refinement, this is going to be the PC headset to be, you know, for a while. Um, so anyway, that's it. Hey, Sally. I just saw Sally uh, pop into the chat from Pimax. Uh, nice to see you. Um, so, all right, um, guys, again, if you want to see more like this, let me know. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off. Air Canada 717 traffic is one as soon as I can sign off. <laughs> this always happens. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Jazz 89 or 68 traffic is 1 o'clock 3 miles at 3,100 feet generic. Report